Oh, first of all, man, I just want to say I'm, I'm honored to be here with you, bro. Mm-hmm. I've watched you for a long time, man, and I've always been a fan of like, how you do business, how you do things. I have to say this. I have to bring this up because every time, you know, when I when I first came out with the beta test, I told you when we started developing the app when I was in Chicago uh, working on the FCFL, mm-hmm. um, I would tell the story of what if you had a chance at the Super Bowl, you know, Marshawn, you know, what would you have did? Pass or run? What would you have done? And I and every time I tell people that, that's the first thing they think of. Like, damn, you know, if I did but was able to control the team, I would have done this. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's kind of the example I've always used, which is so funny me sitting here talking to you. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'm... but saying that, you being the team captain and the owner of your team, how are you? What do you would you persuade your your fans to do? With that play, would you would have told them to do the same play, or would you have chose something else? No, at the point of time, just being realistic, because not that I mean, you know, I didn't had years to think about this, <laughs> but I mean, you know, putting it into the hands of the fans, uh, realistically, like you know, what I'm saying we having our, at this point of time, if we in a championship, and now we got game on the line, and we got that same situation, I'm looking at it as this. All right, throughout this year, we've been doing what we've been doing. We got to this point, and it will come down to a situation like this. What is our identity? What would we, what would we, well, how would, if we don't convert this, do we want to not convert this and be who the f- we are? Mm-hmm. Or do we want to not convert this and try some shit just to try some shit because ain't nobody expecting it? And I mean, just at the end of the day, I know I would rather go out being who the f- I am than mm. trying to be somebody else. So that that authentic you always being you. So, so I guess I'm gonna answer the question for you. Then you would have ran the ball. Then obviously, <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't gonna answer, I'm gonna tell you. If you so you would have ran the ball. We already know you would have ran the ball. Yeah, yeah, what I would you would have ran? <clears throat> would have been Marshawn over the top. Would have been a counter. Would have been a sweep. What would have been? Well, at this point in time, we was a good uh, outside zone team. And I mean, we was averaging six, six nine, right? On that, well, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, we was averaging about six yards on that, on that carry. I mean, on that run play. So, um, yeah, it probably would have been. You would have ran that joint. I yeah, feel maybe I lost some money on that. So you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I owe a lot of people. <laughs> I'm just glad this fan uh, control league wasn't around then, because then I'd be owing a lot more people. <laughs> Out of ten times. They run that play. How many times you score on that play? Oh, uh, not to take nothing away from uh from their defense, but at that point in time, it was it was nothing they could do to stop that play. Mm. Like I told you, it was averaging about six yards a carry on that particular play. So it was one. It was on first it was and goal. It was two <laughs> yards. So right. I mean, right, right. I mean, you know, you average out the numbers and how that sound. That sound like. Ten Sounds touchdowns like a positive to me. To me right? Sound like ten touchdowns to me. <laughs> ten touchdowns. Yeah, All man. Right. You being a team captain, you being an owner, how would you persuade your team for the first pick? Would you go with the best player you saw during the whole camp? Would you build around a quarterback? Would you find a defensive black defensive back? Hmm, that's tough. But I mean, I'm a firm believer in in defense wins championships. Man, wow! So, I wasn't I mean, expecting that. One. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that. I mean, yeah, a lot of people wouldn't, but I mean, I'm a I'm a defensive minded player that run with the ball. So yeah, there you go. You so I mean, my you know, linebacker <laughs> with the damn ball. So it so it worked out, but realistically, I I would I would I would build a defense and. <laughs> and then I would. I was not expecting that. And I would build a defense, and then I would let my offense kind of come together. I mean, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be a process. And I don't want to win right now. I want to win over a long period of time. And I know that if I can implement this defense and this mindset, because that's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to be set. Because it's early. It's it, it's it's not often that you get a um, a. a a running back that sets the tone for the entire team. Right. That's, that's so a good theref- point. So that's therefore, so therefore, or or I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, quarterback, you can do that. But that was, but but a defense when yeah. you got a solid ass defense, yeah. like that's that's the only thing anybody gonna care about. You ain't nobody light light you up. So 
But what was the, who was that dude that you knew was gonna have that chin strap buckled up and ready to go go at it every, every time I went up in that month? Well, I mean, it's it's you know it's, it's a, a lot, but it's you know. a lot of them that play. But it I've been caught before, and two players that I've been caught by, um, that I wish I would have had the opportunity to do over, <laughs> would have been uh, Carlos Dansby, Dansby. and mm -hmm. and D'Amico Ryan's. Okay. Man, I mean, there was some interesting names that you brought up. Like, yeah. you, was, you would think you, they'd say, you know, Erlacher or uh, Ray. Uh, no, or, but they ain't get it. Uh, they ain't get the opportunity to to get it to, to do you. what they do to motherfuckers. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah, didn't. Yeah. But D'Amico Rhines and and uh, he put that hat on you. Hell yeah, on a blitz pickup too. Mm. So I was hot. He ain't getting no sack though. So, but uh, D'Amico Rhines and uh, and Carlos Dance. Damn. That's what's up. Yeah. Two motherfuckers that call me like, oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, I, this I, this I, what time it is. Yeah, Dan's be a beast, yeah. So what can the fans expect, man, from the FCFL beast mode team? You're the owner. You're the team captain. You're going to be the, the face, the, the, the heart, like I said, the heartbeat of this team. What can the fans expect of the type of excitement or the type of, you know, funk, beast, whatever? What, what is it that, that, <laughs> that, that my man is going to bring to it? At the end of the day, regardless to win or lose, they're going to be like, hey, that, <laughs> yeah. when you play them, you better make sure you yeah. come with the shit because them niggas is with the shit and they yeah. busting shit. Yeah. That's, that's just what we're going to be known for, just busting motherfuckers. Busting heads. Bust Bust shit, shit wide open. That's exactly what we're gonna be about. Yeah, I love that. It smash. That's, that's all it is. That old smash now. That's yeah, what's up. Straight up. I love it.